Welcome Hello. To yeah, we've never met. This is the first time we've ever spoken, right? Or not spoken, but met. Uh, video met, yes. Yeah, video met. Yeah. First time I've seen what you look like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can't you can't forget this face. <laughs> Nor this one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So Reggie, first I wanted to thank you from the bottom of my heart for you know coming on on and telling your story. I mean, 30 it years. It needs to get out there. Yeah, 30. Uh, and just to drop the the shocker um, before we proceed, thirty years and a hundred thousand dollars is the uh, the extent of your. And experience. it's probably even more than that. I mean, I'm just giving a estimate. And I have to say, out of the thirty years, six I was married to a Belarusian. So, but I've always been involved. After my first scam in 1998 with a lady from Lagance that I met in Odessa and much of what you've shared with the other guys here, I've experienced a multitude of the type of scams that are out there. And I'm, I'm pretty good at spotting one. It's just for whatever reason, I'm a magnet for scammers, you know. Well, but you have to believe and, like you said, move on, be positive. Uh, I think there's somebody out there for me, and that's why I keep doing what I do. So, so Reggie, would love to hear your Britannica background. How did you get into this 30 years ago, and where did the uh, 100 grand go? Where did the 100 grand go? I was married to an American woman uh, for nine years. She had mental issues and was actually committed to a mental hospital. Uh I tried sticking it out, you know, for better or for worse, sickness or health, you know, in sickness or in health. And unfortunately, it was worse and she had sickness. But she, when she was committed, we divorced, and that was 1995. And due to the illness, we were married nine years, and you know, I married at 30. Uh, there wasn't really any chance for children uh, due to all the drugs and everything that was involved in that particular circumstances. So the mid nineties, that was just after Perestroika and the online dating scene was just coming on board and you actually, you got magazines, you, you know, you had the internet, which was, I think was at 2800 bowed back then. You actually plugged into your telephone line and got that awful signal. Uh, but I met uh, Match.com. I met a Ukrainian girl from Odessa. Very nice. And then, see, that was 1998. I flew to Odessa, and that was an eye-opening trip just in itself uh, back then. Uh, and spent two weeks with her. She's a very, uh, very lovely girl. We got along great, met her family. You know, I thought, wow, you know, this is the one, but it, the there just wasn't enough there, and we discussed it pretty seriously for marriage. She liked me and wanted to be together, but you know, and she did have a six-year-old son, which I was open to. But uh, the for the marriage to last, it just didn't seem like it was going to be possible this, yeah. this isn't her right sorry reggie but i just want to keep up with your profiles you sent us is this her uh no I'm, uh, the, i was just sort of getting a little background of getting into it gotcha. uh, okay let uh, me know let me know when when i should put up the photos okay sure yeah background. but I, I went there um uh 1998 went back 1999 met the scammer uh, my first exposure to that and it was a business for you know, I found out she had like 10 other guys at the time supporting her and, you know, giving her the good life. Then I met my wife in Belarus. Can I just uh, say, and, that? What site did you meet her uh, through? Uh, let's see. It wasn't Match.com, but it, I, I don't even think, think it's in existence anymore. I think okay, okay. first, yeah, first choice or, okay. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there there are a lot of come and gone or changed names, but uh, but I met my wife in two thousand, my ex wife in two thousand in Mintz, uh, and then went through the visa process. I mean, we connected, and and she's uh, she was a model for Milovica, uh 
uh, lingerie. Uh, her best friend's father owned the company, so that's sort of how she got the job. But uh, and then my son was born the following year, and it. I rushed it. I did love her, but I didn't see some flags and just we wanted both wanted family. And I think that's where the strong connection was. But her her way of thinking and my way of thinking just became totally opposite. And we divorced in 2006. So from 2006, uh, I've been to the Ukraine seven times in five other countries in my search so i've traveled a bit got to see some of the world uh i'm thankful for that but uh you want me to start off with sort of my heartbreak story that would be inga the girl that you were bringing up okay, okay uh, great. she's a lot of date girl or was mm-hmm. uh we met in 20 uh our, we met online in 2017 and I don't know if it was just, I don't know what it was, but I felt connected and uh, I mean, back and forth, uh, 2018, see, I met her in the fall of 2017 and I had planned to go 2018 to, uh, to Kiev to meet her, flew to Kiev, got stood up, uh, and really no reason it was more or less you know she was embarrassed or shy or so you know just it was some lame excuses that she was giving uh and then actually she went offline and then about six months later came back and was writing me say oh i made a mistake blah 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 and she hooked me good i mean i just have to be honest she she hooked me very good and i planned a second trip uh, in 2019 to go, uh, and then flew to Kiev. Uh, she knew I was coming, knew where I was going to be, where to meet, no show. And I mean, we had communications for those two and a half years, basically. I mean, I, I felt like she was opening her heart and soul to me and I was opening mine, you know, and I, I have to admit, I mean, I, I had a lot of strong feelings for. I never say you can love. I never say I love you uh, online simply because if you've never met the person, how can you say you love them genuinely? And I, th- I think that's one of the words we're all guilty of, uh, men or women, is uh, you like somebody and then you're all of a sudden you throw, oh, I love you, I love you, and. You get ingrained in that, oh, I love you scenario. And, but I can tell you through Lot of Day, through the vid, uh, video chat, and she, and I did see her on video. I mean, I wasn't just talking to a picture, which a lot of us have done. Uh, I did see her on can video. Ask, but Can I ask you, Reggie? Um, is this her name here? Yashina? Yes. That's her name? Yes. Looks like Matt knows her. How do you know her, Matt? Tell us, tell us your story. No. <laughs> this happens sometimes on Scam School. Oh, yeah. yeah. These, these hottest ones, um, yeah, they make a living doing this. I mean, the yeah. smoking hot ones, which she is. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, please continue. You were saying um, you, did, you, you, you saw her on video. You saw her in Kiev. You met her with her. or she? No, I never know. We never met physically. Yeah, never. Yeah, but you did yeah. video chatting with her on yeah. Latter Day on Latter Day site. Yeah, yeah, and that and that's where these these PPL sites and video chats they get you hooked. You know, before you know, you can be talking all of a sudden. Oh, I've been talking an hour, and then it it just adds up and adds up and adds up. And mm-hmm. you know, I spent you know, I planned two trips to go see her specifically. Uh, I did have back. I always, if I travel, I'm going to have backup. So I knew I had a couple backup agencies that if I did, if I happened to meet her and we didn't connect, you know, that it's not a wasted trip because, you know, traveling is not cheap, you know, uh, and I could see, you know, two trips to Kiev, you know, I was there a month for one time and then two weeks, you know, another time, uh, 
seen her. So, you know, it wasn't, you know, it's not for the faint of heart, you know, and I'm, I'm just an average guy. I work hard for the money I've got and I don't make that much, but I, for love, I'm willing to invest in it, you know, so, but I was, note, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, Reggie? What do you do for a living? What's your background? Uh, my background is in, I was 15 years in human resources. Uh, I was an HR director, HR manager, uh, I have a family business uh, that does book publishing, and now we're looking to restore uh, Land Rover Defender models. Uh, my first one will be hopefully ready by the end of the month or the end of uh, August. Uh, so uh, it's very diversified. I got a business finance background, uh, but I, I was HR for 15 years, and that's something I really enjoyed. So. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for the background. Um, so would you were saying you would consider yourself a kind of an average income, average net yeah. worth kind of guy? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm Just below good. six figures. I'll put it that way. <laughs> yeah. Annually. Okay. Yeah. So just to give a, give guys an idea of your story here. Um, what about, uh, was it Tony that knows this girl? Tony, uh, let's hear from, ah, okay. Here's, he's commented, uh, I don't know, this is bad, but the way she, oh, shine her skin. Yeah, I mean, guys, good girls don't do this. I mean, um, yeah. I mean, this is, this is the but first. She, like I said, she hooked first. me good. And, you know, I, uh, th there were things they were saying, Reggie, end it, end it. And then there's, it's, I guess, the hope. That you, you know, I don't want my hope crushed. Yeah. You know, I've walked, I've walked away from girls that I said, oh, you know, you're just here to, you know, scam me, and I've told them that. Uh, and but I mean, there've been a few girls. I mean, like I said, I, I felt like she, in, in talking with each other and what we shared. And like I said, if they'd been talking to a picture. I would have ended it a lot, a lot sooner, but actually having seen her on video and, you know, spending that time, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you, you grow a connection, you know, and, and then she got me good. You know, How, many times on video? How many times did you video chat with this? Oh God. I mean, she's on a lot of day. Uh, the, the, my, my history uh, is it, probably, a hundred lines, you know, of communication. And uh, I, I couldn't, even, I'd, I'd say um, multiple, multiple hours on video. Uh -huh. And over how many times, how many video sessions? Uh, well, I, I, well, I'm like, I said, we were for two and a half years uh, with exception of, you know, six that she just, I couldn't find her. And then she came back. Uh, I mean, we almost almost daily or uh, video communication almost daily video chat two to three times a week, which could be an hour or two hours. Okay, so how long did you communicate with her for? How what period of duration in total? All in all total, uh, almost two years. Okay, and here's uh, here's a silly question: Did the video chat cost money? Of course. Oh yeah, <laughs> they they nothing for free. How much? How much is it per minute? Uh, I think there it ended uh, because I would always buy the the big credit, you know, to get the maximum for the dollar. Uh, it probably ended up being just tab it over a dollar a minute. A dollar a minute. And and by the way, guys, this is one of the deceptions they all use. It's credits. It's not dollars because they, yeah. they, 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 they can, it's kind of like me now in Mexico is uh, I actually spend a lot of pesos because I, I don't know. I don't. I still don't have a, a mental connection between yeah. dollars and pesos. So I found. Yeah. I went to the corner store. Tell me, have I been okay? I went to the corner store yesterday. Yeah. Okay. I just bought a hot dog, a couple of ice creams, uh, a Pepsi, uh, chips for the kids. It was third over thirty dollars. Is that normal now <laughs> these days? It may be now, thanks to Biden. But you know, who knows? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, she, Anna's like, you haven't been back to Canada for too long, honey. You, you don't know what stuff costs. But anyway, um, yeah, that's that's how they make their money on the oh, on, yeah. on the chatting. 
Listen, there, there's a question in here. I want to just uh, I'll put it up for you here. Um, mm, 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 mm. Where is it? Ah, uh, uh, yeah. What would you answer to this question? Reggie, did you ever ask yourself, why would someone like that, that hot, want to date you? I would ask, am I not worthy enough? I mean, yeah, I'm an average guy. I realize that. Uh, but do I, does, because she looks good or hot or whatever, does that make her too good for me? Uh, I don't look at people like that. I look at, you know, I try to look at heart and soul. I am very visual. And, yes, I like someone that looks nice. Like I said, we just – for whatever reason, the connection that I was feeling with her and I thought she was feeling with me, I thought was genuine. I've, I've talked to a lot hotter women than that and realized, you know, what they're, they're just out for the, you know, what they can get from me. But in this particular case, you know, and I kick myself now for just, you know, thinking that, she liked me. I, I felt a genuine connection, and that's why I pursued it. And I don't think anybody, you know, I look at people that I know better than them, and they're no better than me. And if they happen to be hot and like me, great. If not, okay. So uh, I have self-worth and self-esteem. So that question is actually sort of offensive to me. I think any man uh, should have the self-worth that, yeah, you know, he could have somebody like that, that he would, you know, that may be a different question. So here's interesting. This is Matt. This is a married client of mine, uh, mm -hmm. married 2018. Matt, uh, I didn't realize this was you, Matt, your icon changed. So Matt has met your Inga in Kiev many times before match guarantee. Uh, <laughs> So, but this is back in 2000. It would have been 2018, I guess. Matt, Matt's mm -hmm. ex-military uh, he's a Harley mechanic, good guy, and yeah. he married Victoria. Um, uh, it was his 19th date with uh, Match Guarantee. Hey, Matt, remember that? The good old days. Uh, so, I mean, Matt has an interesting story because like you, and like most of us guys, right, like Jean Francis, who we just had live on our Match Guarantee channel, uh, <laughs> Matt was the most dated client of Match Guarantee, uh, right up until Jean Francis just recently took his pole position at about 22, 23. And Matt was meeting ladies and beautiful ladies, but he said, you know, with Match Guarantee, but he said, you know, Joe, just, just no, I just don't have that spark, that wow that you always describe. I'm waiting for the wow, Joe, and I'm I just not feeling it, you know, lovely yeah. ladies and all that. But then on his 19th date, when he met Victoria. He texted me right after. Hey, Matt, you remember that? He says, Joe, this is my wow girl. This is my wow. And it's amazing because she didn't speak any English and he didn't speak Russian. But guess what? Yeah. They're happily and married. He, yeah, they're yeah. still happily married today. Um, not that if we were sitting here, not there isn't challenges because, of course, every marriage has challenges. Yeah. But, um, but the point is, yeah, it's, again, the, um, the curse of man. I mean, we all have to have a high level of chemistry, sexual attraction for a woman, or we're just not interested. Yeah. Uh, but there's a, but there's a line there, you know, there's a line between reality and fantasy, right? At the same oh, yeah. time, mm -hmm. there's a line. Yeah. There's a line. And I'm me... curious, did he meet in golf? Uh, this Matt dude meet in golf a lot of date as well, or I mean, since he actually met her physically, yeah. yeah, Matt, tell us, uh, almost four years now. He, uh, <laughs> thanks for the good advice. Well, Matt, you were a great client. You're a good man. So I'm, I'm happy you and Victoria are doing well. Um, where did you meet this girl? This, What's her name? Um, Inga. Inga. Where did you meet Inga? <laughs> I always think of Inga from Sweden. Ah, my name yeah. Is from Sweden. yeah, that's a weird, yes, a weird Ukraine name. Yeah. Well, it's... It, it, it's not a real name. I almost guarantee you. Yeah. So, uh, 
Mark, yeah, the curse of man also, curse of women also. Uh, no, I don't agree with you, Matt, Mark. Women, women are not like men. They don't have the curse to look for a hot hunk. I mean, look at Anna, look at me. What are you talking about, Mark? <laughs> no, no, women don't have the same curse, Mark. Um, so, yeah, Matt, where did you meet this Inga? We're all very curious. Um, okay, red flag appears in my when a woman is showing you so much. Yeah, Juan, absolutely. Listen, my main point is this is a huge red flag. Any picture like this, in a dating uh, portfolio, run, Forrest, run. It's not a good girl. It's not. Um, did you guys see the video? If you haven't seen it yet, Anna's dad um, helped client Dale from Australia at our home at Christmas. Remember, you guys, we were live at Christmas for about five or six hours. Well, Anna's dad gave Dale dating advice. So that video went live, I don't know, five days ago. It's called Ukraine Dating Soviet Style. Check it out. I'll put it in the link below. It's it and Anna's dad would tell you any picture like this. In fact, he's quite a critic. I mean, he was looking at our ladies going, eh, this one, eh, this one. I mean, but he's got the Soviet wisdom of what Ukrainian women should and should look like in the photo. He looks at their eye, their position. I mean, their eyes. I mean, their looks in their eyes, looks at their smile or no smile, yada, yada, yada. Um, so I'm just waiting. Uh, hypergamy. Uh, yeah, yeah, Mark. Of course, everybody knows about hypergamy, but we're not talking about hypergamy. Um, so Anastasia. Ah, Matt met her on Anastasia. I remember Matt had a little bit of experience with Anastasia before. Yeah. Um, but he, she, he did meet her physically, right? Uh, did you meet her physically, Matt? Did you meet her physically? This is a good question because... With you, Reggie, she blew you off in person, which is, listen, if I can be frank with yeah. you, Reggie, a, a girl of this high SMV, I mean, we're talking nine to 10. Uh, yeah, she's going to blow you off because anybody that looks like this, there's just too many SMV point spreads between you and her, right? Just to call a spade a spade. Yeah. It's just the real world, right? It's not that we're not worth it or anything like that. It's, uh, it, it's all about uh, supply and demand. There's a lot mm -hmm. of demand for her <laughs> and, you know, and there's a little yeah. supply. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, many times Matt met her in person, dates and excursions. Yeah. But Matt, yeah, you know, she's, yeah, well, <laughs> it's interesting because Matt, <laughs> Matt did very well with a real woman from our site, Victoria. I mean, yeah. Victoria is, where, okay, maybe I can find Matt's picture. Oh, I don't have it. I don't have it in the studio right now. Yeah. Um, I don't have it. Yeah, sexual attraction, it matters. It's, uh, it's huge. Yeah. And kind of what I mean by the curse of man, guys, just so you understand why women don't have it too. I'm talking about also, there is this tendency that as we age, not all men, but I would say most men, as we age, we we lose we lose this. Um, it's kind of like I've shown in videos, you know, the picture where you we look into the mirror and we we don't see what we really look like. And I'm I'm kind of the same. I'm just really blessed with a with a wife that's madly in love with me. She said last night watching a movie on the sofa, she's looking at, at me with these starry eyes, and <laughs> I look at myself in the mirror and I'm like, "What do you see, honey? What do you, what do you see?" But but I'm just saying, as we get older, we lose perception of reality to the degree what i mean is is that you know when we were younger we would look at a girl that's out of our league and we would just go to ourselves yeah she's out of our league but as we get older we we just somehow we lose perception of what's realistic for us or not and i think it's mostly the curse of man that have been to ukraine <laughs> I, I don't think your average Canadian American man has this curse because it's really true. Once you've been to Ukraine or you've been to Russia or you've been to a Soviet country, Belarus, and you see just all the eye candy around, it really does mess with us. It, and, it, and then you meet guys like Matt that are married to Victoria and you go, or a Joe that's married to Anna and you say, okay, listen, I've seen it's possible. It's real. And it just F's with our mind is what I'm saying, Reggie. 
Uh, and, yeah. But the thing is, it is, you know, it is possible for a, a guy to meet a woman that's punching way above his weight, like two, maybe three SMV points above him in, in the looks department, looks, age. Um, but the bottom line is this. If you're fishing in a toxic pond, which is all of these PPL sites, mm -hmm. you're fishing in a, in, in, in a pond full of shit. So what are you going to catch? You're going to catch... You know, yeah, yeah. No, I agree with that. And that's why uh, I've... Uh, redu I have scaled back my searching and yeah. uh, like I said, personal circumstances have uh, played a part in that, uh, yeah. as well. But, you know, I, like I said, I don't want to be alone, but I can be, you know, I, I've been alone for 16 years. So, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, I have to, have to, uh, you know, you make the best, you make the best of what you have, it's just that I can hope that maybe I'll meet someone. It's just what I find for me personally, and it's for me personally, it's not for any other guy. I don't connect with people my age because their wants and desires are not what my wants and desires are. You know, uh, yeah. most, you know, I have a 20 year old son. That means I won't be a grandfather for maybe another 10 years when I'm, near 80 so yeah. you know you know there's things started for me late in life so i look back now as if i was 45 or something so mm -hmm. you know and that, that's for me personally and i have to live with it and if people want to judge me for that you know uh, fine uh you know i'm doing what i feel is right for me and, you know, part of my story is, you know, with the people that I've met is to try to avoid the mistakes that I've made in the past and, and share that and be open enough. You know, a lot of guys get embarrassed, though, that, oh, I got scammed for, you know, 5000 or 10000 or, you know, they're embarrassed to be open about it. Mm -hmm. I started way back in, in like 2001 when I was helping people, they would send me letters and pictures of the girls. And I said, you know, run, you know, she, uh, that's a scammer. And here's where you can find her and, you know, blah, 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 blah. So, I mean, I've exposed a lot of scammers over the years and I'm, I'm proud of that because I've helped save a lot of, uh, heartbreak for guys for myself mm -hmm. personally you know my archives I, I have uh, external hard drives that are full with you know women writing to me and i know just reading the letter that, that they're bullshit mm -hmm. but but there are occasions where i get hooked you know and you know it happens to all of us so you know uh you just try to live and learn from that yeah. 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 Uh, you live and learn. And, and um, I, I, I just want to, I'll, I'll we'll take a break here. I'll play. Um, I'll play this and then we'll discuss it when I come back. But this is, um, where is it here? This is a new lady that registered with us and um, she came across us and then um, her mom also wanted to, to meet a man. Right. So her and her mom registered. And she did this, she just did this video. Um, and uh, we'll come back in just a few minutes. Hello, my name is Anna, and thank you so much for watching my video. Uh, this is your one time guarantee for love, uh, exotic love. This is um, Mama! Yeah. Mama! Yeah. This, Mama! Yeah. It is Mama. Say hi, Mama. Hi. Hi. Okay. She work very. She work very hard in the fields. Mama show. Mama show. Mama. Yeah. Uh, so I know how to work hard. I know how to work hard. Just as hard as my Mama. I have been watching the American TV, and that's why I know exactly what. Uh, the, Mama, I know exactly what the 
American man, well, I know there needs to be at least 25 years different, different, 25 years between me and my husband, uh, and I am 17. So they, no worry. I realize most of you watching the video will be the same age as my mama. Mama! She will the same age as mama, but do not worry, mama is not for sale. One second, Putin is above. Putin is, Putin. The second thing I noticed is that American men want uh, women with large um, extensions in their extensions and this is why when as soon as you buy me as your loved one i will put i will get this to be real mama if you today want me to be your wife please call it in call and give in cash because we do not have a bank here one more thing if you decide to have me as your love wife then you have mama also come with you um so it's like two vagines in one package hey we're back so <laughs> what did you what did you guys think any any anybody want a twofer <laughs> mama <comes with? laughs> okay guys that was a good one <laughs> that was a good one but you know i it uh, comically makes a serious yeah. point at the same time that, uh, you know, 20, 25 year age gap is just, uh, it's not realistic. It's not realistic. So any man shooting for 25 years has to know that he has to ask himself, you know, this is th the reason we're continuing to talk about age gap because, sorry, I'm getting tongue twisted, it, is because it's the number one reason why the scam industry exists. It would not exist if, if we didn't pursue a 25 year younger woman. And so it's, it's the cause, it is the main cause of this scam industry and guys being scammed. Um, so a guy has to ask himself at the end of the day, if he really is, really wants to have a partner, a wife, uh, a warm bed at night, something to wake up to in the morning and have great conversation, um, hopefully a soulmate. Uh, if he really wants that, then it's our job, you know, we have to be somewhat realistic and shoot for what we can catch, you know? So. I'll, ju I'll just, I I'm going to agree to disagree. You're yeah. telling, you're telling guys to settle for what they can get. And I do understand that point, but I'm not, I, I won't, if it means me being alone for the rest of my life, then so be it. But yeah. I'm not one to settle, you know, just, oh, so I can have that warm bed or whatever. And I think it's wrong to, um, how should I say this? It's wrong to, diminish it diminish a guy's hopes and dreams to what could be just say oh you, you just you you can only settle for this and that's all you're going to get in life uh, i i think we deserve better than that and that's just a personal opinion you know so but every, every point you're you're bringing across is very valid for 99 percent of the guys out there and mm. they should take note you know if it takes me being the uh, being laughed at and say, "Well, this guy's just he's you know he's way out there," or whatever. Okay, if it helps guys to learn what they need to be looking at, that's the goal of what you're trying to accomplish. I think so. Yeah, I appreciate you sh sharing, Reggie. And um, it, it, listen, every man is the captain of his own ship. It's it's yeah. it's a matter of what we want and 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 and, and sort mm -hmm. of like this. my my job sitting in my chair yeah. is to help is to help my clients get what they want. You know, right? That that is my job. But with that job also comes uh, that I have to be I have to exercise tough love sometimes and say, mm -hmm. listen, you know. Um, and that's why I'm saying you're very valid in a lot of, of what you're saying. Uh, 
for that. And I, I take all that to heart. Uh, for me personally, outside of, you know, I wanted to sh share, and I don't know, I've got a couple more if, if you have the time. If not, we'll move yeah. on. But, yeah. uh, you know, this is, you know, I want people to learn if they see me as, you know, even if you want to call me a fool, uh, I could care less. You know, I know what makes me happy and what drives me. And like I said, I'm the de I'm, I make my destiny. Uh, and I, I would just want the guys out there, you know, to, to see the potential pitfalls uh, that maybe I have been blind to uh, or stubborn or whatever. You know, l learn, learn from me and learn from Joe, you know, uh, how to find that right woman in your life you know th that's why we're here so you know mm -hmm. yeah M M matt is chiming in the the uh, mm -hmm. happily married client uh, it, it, that you know for him it was the same thing he needed to find that that attraction that sexual attraction and, and he he found it i'm not saying to settle but at the same time there is a balancing act of what yeah. you know uh i can't get some supermodel for example i know that i wouldn't even i wouldn't even try this is interesting. Did you see what I posted just a second ago? Um, so Matt admitted that this is his $10,000 scam girl. So let's put her back on. So your Inga took, uh, where, wait a second here, uh, took Matt for 10 grand. Wow. I didn't, uh, I didn't realize that, Matt. That's, uh, that's amazing. Let's show her off and warn the world then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's. Let's one. <laughs> Hello, Reggie. Photoshop. <laughs> yeah. So let's move on then, uh, Reggie. I I appreciate. Listen, I appreciate what you're. You know, you, you stick to your guns and stuff like that. Uh, we're we're talking about the same thing from different perspectives as right. well. You know, it, it, at the end of the day, it's it's every man's choice. What what matters most to him, you know. Let's move on to your uh, next lady then. Okay, she... uh, and I'll, I'll keep this more as uh, uh, Natasha. Uh, okay, let me see. How do I get to this? Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, oh, I think I just go like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Um, uh, uh, Inga, Inga. There's Ina. Oh, you want Natasha? Okay. Yeah. There's Natasha. And uh, I'm sure if guys have been out there, she's on several websites. Uh, uh, she, I believe it's Dnieper, I think is where she's from. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm trying to remember. Uh, and she's a lot of day. She's another lot of day girl. And I, I just posted her because – I wouldn't write her for a month and I would, I would go in and look in the messages and I'd have a letter from her every day, just talking to me like we were in a relationship and it just, you know, when you see, see this, I'll just point out, you see kisses here, guys, you see, yeah. you see kisses, kisses, Natasha, Ukrainian women would never do that. Not unless yeah. they're in love and you know, that yeah. takes a lot of time and in person. Red yeah. flag. And, and I will to... mention, I mean, she's like 40. Uh, oh, okay. uh, you know, so she's not, yeah. And, and actually, Inga, I think, is probably 39 now or something. I mean, she's, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, she's, she's not 30, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. So, I mean, a dentist, uh, I mean, Natasha is a dentist, uh, uh, but I've, I've, I've seen her profile. And all over, it looks like she's she's probably been well kept, but you know it's it's just mm -hmm. you know from the just how she wrote to me. I wanted to put that up. If guys just read the letters and try to understand the context, are they answering what you uh, the questions you ask, and how freely and how open are they, or do they just talk? you know, like, like a one-sided talk venue. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I, I get a lot of those, you know. So you're talking to her about your yellow highlight section. You're saying, listen, talking online makes you uh, waste money unnecessarily, right? Yeah. Uh, why and, 
woman. And you know, she she won't give me her. Uh, she wouldn't give me her. Uh, I mean, I made it very clear at the beginning of correspondence. With a lot of date, you write fifteen letters back and forth. You can get their contact information. Yeah. And I said, you know, if you're going to write me, you know, and she wrote me a lot. Uh, I said, I want, you know, I want your contact information so we can talk directly. She refuses. So, th- I mean, that's another point. If they're not going to give you your email uh, or uh, contact information, you know, they're they're the PPL scammers, you know. Yeah, absolutely. That's always the way the scam goes. They always yeah. have some stupid, some stupid excuse for why yeah. they can't talk for free on WhatsApp, uh, yeah. Messenger, you know, yeah. any number of the apps or Skype. I used free. to love uh, uh, some years back. I, the, the excuse I got was that I mean, I can understand they might not have a laptop or uh, you know uh, a computer uh, that's you know very modern. All of them have iPhones, and iPhones can do the app. And you know, they say, "Oh, you know, I, it's like I can't get internet, or my iPhone doesn't work, or you know, it's just it's bullshit." You know, is what it ends up being. Yeah, yeah. And then, the, uh, then I just wanted to give that example. I mean, I, I, if you post that on your side or whatever for guys, to sort of scroll through at their leisure. Thank you very much, Reggie. You've been very insightful any any final things you'd like to you know advice to guys uh, i mean you got 30 years under your belt and 100 grand that's a lot of lessons <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you know embarrassing to say but you know like i said if i can share the mistakes that i've had and i'll put it out there if any guy wants to talk to me directly you can get your the information from you uh, I mean, I will say the only reason I came on here was because of you, Joe, and uh, uh, the respect and I think the integrity that you're trying to give. You know, I don't know you personally, never met you, uh, but I've, uh, I hold in high regard someone that's trying to promote an honest agency to help guys, you know, find love the right way. Uh, and appreciate that, uh, yeah, appreciate uh, that vote of confidence. Yeah. Uh, for that. And then I, th- I think, you know, the, the videos that you put out uh, and the comments, hard love, whatever you want to call it, uh, you know, that uh, uh, the guys need, you know, it's valid and they need to listen. And, and if they do, then hopefully you can help them one way or other find, find a, a good Ukraine bride. Thanks, Reggie. I'm just putting in comments. Please vote now uh, for Reggie. Um, it's So it's from 1 to 10. Um, 10 is you absolutely want him to win. 1 is not so much. <laughs> I would and like to, but, you know. Uh, you vote, know for it's... Reggie. vote for Reggie before we move on to the next guest. Yeah, help me in the 30-year uh, failure span or whatever. <laughs> Thank you. Take care. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Reggie. Appreciate it very much. Bye.